Hey Fragheads and Fragrance Lovers, welcome back. Good old Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Channel chatting it up on another beautiful fragrance. And today, y'all saw the title, Oceana from the House of Roja. Yes, Roja Dove is on the chopping block again with the fragrance called Oceana. It, uh, before we jump into the fragrance review, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, and please tell a friend. Do all those good things to help this channel grow. If you like my content, uh, I really do appreciate it. And we're definitely trying to go places and do wonderful things and uh, keep this content going. These aren't. This is not a cheap fragrance and Rojas are not cheap. <laughs> so let's jump into the fragrance and talk what it's going all about. Before I even jump into the notes, I want to tell you that this is not a, an aquatic fragrance. I'm not going to waste your time, and I'm not going to waste my time. This is called an Oceana, so you thought it was an ocean fragrance, you thought it was blue. I do have to say that the cap is quite beautiful, and the presentation on this one is uh, quite outstanding. Uh, but is this an aquatic fragrance? No, it's not. This is really a cheaper, another cheaper fragrance with a few notes uh, changed and twisted up. And uh, Roja loves their cheaper fragrances, and I think their customers must love that cheaper type of DNA. You know, being you know fresh and but yet kind of seductive. And uh, y'all know cheapers usually have like leathers and patchoulis and florals and lots of florals. And that's what we got going on here. There is some citrus off the top that you might be excited about. There's uh, like lime and, and mandarin and orange. And then you have to see some geranium and some thyme that adds some crispness to the fragrance. So it's fresh and citrusy off the top. And it, it's really quite nice. And it's a little bit on the sour side as far as citruses go. Uh, but, you know, you do get more citruses on the top of this fragrance than really most Rojas that you would ever smell. So that's nice. And then the fragrance uh, ends up drying down to more of a clean fragrance. There's iris and I think there's some jasmine and there's, uh, you know, quite a few, you know, kind of light floral elements. And uh, I think there might have even snuck up a little bit of vanilla in this fragrance. And uh, I really do have to say this is not what I wanted. This is not what I expected out of this fragrance. It's clean. It's uh, it's it's wearable. It's it's fresh. This is certainly one of the more mass appealing versatile and easy to wear Rojas that they've ever made. But is this really an aquatic fragrance? No. The, were, they did actually do something surprising, surprising though. It's not all bad. They were able to make this fragrance kind of feel in the composition and how it feels and how it transitions and how it changes like an aquatic, which is quite surprising. But they used that ro those Roja notes and that Roja DNA. I don't know if they did that because that saves them money or they didn't want to go through the effort with finding aquatic notes or actually creating an aquatic fragrance. I really don't know what the thinking was behind this fragrance. Uh, may or maybe it's supposed to just be a maritime fragrance like you're on a boat. I really don't know, but again, they pick, They call it Oceana. It's supposed to smell like the ocean. They pictured the, the you know, the surf and the waves, and um, I was expecting an aquatic fragrance. I was expecting, you know, uh, you know, fresh, fresh citrus and the ocean and salt and the sea breeze and maybe even seaweed and driftwood and all of those things you might imagine. The smell of sand or shells and, you know, uh, all kinds of things that you can Im uh, imagine. Uh, or maybe even a tropical direction, possibly, with the smell of the ocean. So, anyways, it's a nice fragrance. It just, it's clean and it's pristine. But I, I think that this fragrance has a big hurdle to get over. Immediate, even though it's a decent fragrance, it's pretty well blended. It's a Roja. It's clean. It's it's fancy. It, it smells posh and expensive. And it is expensive. Uh, I think that's already a big negative against this fragrance. It doesn't even live up to its name. I recently criticized Bulgari's Glacial Essence. Hopefully you've seen that review recently. And uh, it didn't really suit its name or really didn't fulfill what people expected because of the name. Again, some people say, who are we or who am I or who are you to criticize art? But when you call, say it's Oceana and it's not an aquatic fragrance, Roja, what are you doing? Anyways, uh, this fragrance is nice though. I already know quite a few people who like this one. It is a kind of an exclusive uh, one so far. I think this one is going to become more available in the, in the near future and more people are going to start liking and talking about this fragrance. It's certainly one of the more versatile fragrances from the house. One of their most more likable, fresh, easy to wear fragrances. Uh, and some people might say dumbed down fragrances from Roja. I'm not really saying that. I'm just saying that this is definitely more simple and more easy to wear. And again, it feels a little bit like a Shepra. Not overtly so, but there is some cheaper qualities to this one. Again, Roja, I, I like your DNA. I like your style. I would like you to maybe sometimes, with a, at least a few of your fragrances, if you're going to give us a fresh fragrance or an ocean fragrance, step away a little bit from that cheaper DNA. Um, anyways, let's jump into the performance. Let's stop talking about the fragrance. Uh, as you can tell, I'm fairly disappointed already. 
Uh, but uh, with that uh, with that performance uh, with this fragrance you're gonna get anywhere from seven to eight hours this one actually isn't bad uh, performance wise it holds on uh, it may be slightly uh, slightly below average projection and sillage but it does hold on it does last fairly well but if you were expecting a really a really strong fragrance especially when you're paying this kind of money uh, you know this really isn't a very strong fragrance can it give you a presence can people notice and smell it on you yes but is it going to fill up the room is it going to beg for attention is it going to announce your presence uh no this one's not going to do that for you so anyways but it works it's nice but if you want compliments if that's what you want and you want to get noticed buy dylan blue by versace buy invictus by paul caraban why i don't know why you'd be looking at this fragrance if you just want compliments uh so that compliment factor it's decent it's nice this fragrance is refined and clean and fancy but and uh, some people will find it really relaxing. Some people, I'm sure, who maybe have a lot more, a lot of money on their hands, maybe would wear this to go sunbathing or you know get some sun. Uh, this is definitely a resort type of fragrance, and that's where I think this fragrance is, uh, should be. This fragrance should have been named Resort. <laughs> this fragrance feels like you walk into a resort. They have nice fresh flowers. Everything is clean and pristine. Uh, maybe you're going to the hot tub area or, you know, one of those fancy places. I think it's more uh, culturally acceptable. And, you know, I'm not really sure. It depends on your country. Uh, like, a, you know, if you're familiar with steam rooms or they have different pools that are all different temperatures. Some are made to make you very, co are supposed to be extremely cold. Some people are, uh, some of the pools of water uh, in, like a resort or you know some of these places to rejuvenate yourself um, are made to be very you know hot or cold or everything in between and you're supposed to actually take them by for stages uh, or you know anyways this fragrance to me smells like that it's clean it's pristine fresh towels fresh flowers uh, some water you know some citruses uh, and uh, that's what you got going on um, anyways nice fragrance Again, I said towels because this perhaps might remind you of the most fanciest dryer sheets that you've ever come across. I don't say that to really insult this fragrance, but, uh, you know, I could imagine this, uh, you know, very fancy, high-end, luxury hotel dryer sheets. Uh, that's almost what you're getting with this fragrance. Uh, not, th that, not that I'm trying to insult your Roja or people who work with Roja. That's not my intention, but, um, you know, that might, to me, that's what this fragrance really is. Uh, so, compliment factor. It can work, certainly if you're close to friends or family or people you know, or maybe you get, you know, calm and relaxed, you know, you meet somebody up at the beach. Uh, you know, this fragrance here could be nice for that, uh, but it's not the most seductive fragrance. It's not the most aquatic fragrance. It's not the most playful. Uh, this fragrance is really just in the middle and doesn't really do anything to me that's really special. And I think that's, um, I again, I still want that aquatic Roja fragrance. You got my interest. You piqued my interest. I want it. Where is it? And uh, I think that people are, that's going to be a conflict of interest for Roja in the future. Again, I'm not there. I'm not the creative director with Roja, but, uh, and I wish that some of these brands would notice me or pay attention or maybe get my thoughts or consult with me or do something like that because I could certainly help them. And uh, Roja, I think you made some problems for yourself <laughs> with this fragrance. So overall with this fragrance, um, it's it's not cheap. This one is uh, anywhere from 350 upwards, maybe to 500, depending on where you find it. This one is usually that 300, 350 to 400. Terribly expensive. That's going to scare most people away. But if you have money and if you like smelling clean and unique and having a little fancy fragrance for yourself or when you want to relax, uh, you know this might be nice for you. And uh, maybe also if you like to wear togas. I don't know why I want to say this, but you this will be your toga fragrance. Anyways. It's nice, but does it do anything special? Is it worth this kind of money? I don't think so. This does come in 100 mils. I do want to say that. Uh, there are 50 mil uh, Rojas that are just as expensive, if not more, than $300 or $500. So you do get more juice for this fragrance. But again, this one's a little bit lighter. You you might actually be tempted or might actually spray this one a bit. But for so how expensive this is, and especially when some people say to bundle spray 15, 20 sprays of a Roja, that's that's some that's some big cash. That's some big money. You're walking around uh, with a twenty dollar bill on your forehead. Um, I I don't want to do that. And I don't care to do that. And to me, if you have to do that with any fragrance, that's a negative. Fragrances should really perform, especially at this price level, especially with such a prestigious brand. And um, you know, not that this one doesn't perform. It's a seven eight hour fragrance, maybe better on some people's skin. 
Uh, but uh, again, I think this one should project a little bit better, especially in my opinion for an aquatic fragrance or if that's what you're, this was supposed to be. And um, I really, again, I would love to see, you know, brands be very more transparent with their fragrances and tell us the story. Maybe they could have justified this fragrance. Maybe they could have told us their inspiration and how they thought through this fragrance and their creative direction and their, and their inspiration and, uh, and the work they put in to create this fragrance. But I'm sitting here and all I know is that this isn't doing what I wanted, and I don't think it's going to do what some of you wanted out there either. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think I'm being fair with this fragrance, or do you think I'm being, you know, rude, or do you think I'm being nice, or do you think I I, I should, you know, I should be more, uh, you know, direct or even more critical of this fragrance? Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time, everybody. Where would those fragrances you love? Find the fragrances you love. Where would those, you know, find them and rock them? And if you liked my comment uh, or commentary, my thoughts, my review, and you want to help this channel grow, again, you know what to do. Help me out. So I'll see you soon, everybody. Where would you love this one? Um, a flop of a fragrance or maybe a little bit misguided. It's still a nice fragrance. It's still composed, but not really what uh, I don't think what you expect. It's not what I expect. So anyways, I'll see you soon, everybody. Peace out and bye.